Hello, this is Jay from Data Here to There, and today's quick tip is about the power of filters. So filters can have a really big impact on how your store looks. You can pick exactly the products you want and leave out the ones that you don't want to sell. So one of the simplest ones is really just picking the brands that you want in the store. So the brand selector allows you to, to choose uh, at a high level what brands you want and which ones you don't. Uh, the filters tab allows us to go into more detail. So here we can pick the exact uh, fitments, so year, make, model, sub model, and year range that you want to carry in the store. So maybe you want uh, all year motive, maybe American muscle, or maybe Japanese import, or maybe you want to have a, a selection of your own um, vehicle types, you know, based on year ranges and models. You can also select uh, filters for uh, your LTL shipping, if you don't want to include uh, products that have uh, extra shipping charges, uh, maybe you want to have special order products, uh, maybe you want to bring in products um, that are universal fitment, you can set all of those filters here in this tab. And then the next one uh, allows you to focus on the categories. So maybe there's uh, you know certain ones that you want to include. So maybe apparel, maybe engine components. In this case, we're leaving out air intake systems. But you can select and, and go through the ones that you want. You know maybe you want to have um, uh, a certain uh, style of uh, or like a niche of products in your store, and you want to leave out other ones. Category selection allows you to do that. So. When we go to the product display, uh, we can see the actual products that are loaded in. So here we've loaded uh, Mishimoto parts, and you'll see there's maybe about, I think there's about 40 or so in here, but actually there's way more Mishimoto parts. So where did they all go? Well, we can do a bit of a deep dive. We can go to the Term 14 distribution app for Shopify, and then we can go into the filters tab. And so here, if you click the report button, it'll generate a list of all of the products that did not get into your store. <laughs> and so this is a good way to then um, find out, well, you know, which parts did uh, get excluded and why. So here we see the brand, so Mishimoto, the individual part numbers, and then why they were rejected. So in my test store, I don't have LTL products enabled. So what this report is telling me is, there's a, actually quite a few here that were rejected because I don't allow LTL. And then I've also turned off special order. So these ones are rejected too. And uh, as we go through the list, you can see that there's other category codes. Um, so I didn't include uh, fabrication and, and the clamp subcategory. I didn't include air intake systems. And so again, this report is just telling me, uh, well, that's why that product didn't get loaded. And also too, if uh, there's fitment that uh, doesn't match my criteria, the report will tell me that too. So that's a quick way to do a diagnostic into why certain parts are loaded and why certain parts are left out. And I can address that too. So let's say if I wanted to include LTL shipping and I want to allow products without images and all these other filters, I can turn them all on and then I can hit save. And then what it's gonna do, the app will load those for me in the background and I'll have many more products in there. So that's a, a quick review there about uh, fitments and then how to audit uh, the fitment filters. If you need any other help, uh, feel free to give us a shout and uh, have a great day.